the fit. The show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role playing games. Previously on River of Time. There is an organization, it's essentially a new world order. Somehow, they keep making that happen. Have you seen this kid? My dad's a nuclear physicist. Where does he work? Electrical skunk works. All oh, right, skunk works, I know that. I think uh, we need to pay a visit to this guy. I think some of the investors are in today, but where are they from? Who do they work for? I think some South American company. Presumably this is the internet project, right? A van pulls up. Is there a sign on the van? No, there's not. Don't trust the internet! You need to come with us immediately. Episode 3, Data Flood. You guys are surrounded by several armed, dark-colored clothing guards. They seem to be holding mostly handguns. Do I recognize them? Uh, like, do you, I mean, do I recognize the guns? these? No, no, yeah, the, these forces, just like they're, they're, do their uniforms seem familiar or something? Um, as you wake up, make a notice check. So, seven. That's a success with style? Which means that we're going to generate a new aspect. You recognize the woman's uniform, you mm-hmm. recognize the uniforms around you, and you recognize the handguns that they're holding. And uh, none of these should be here. All of these are from where you are from, which is an alternate version of 2017. Right. This shouldn't be happening now. A How'd much, you get here? A much not nicer version of 2017. Mm-hmm. Interesting. No, it's happening too soon. I have to think of the word choice for the aspect because I have to phrase it right. Okay. Um, too many I... soldiers, not enough time. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pull in my um, my aspect. As, uh... What is it you're trying to accomplish? Well, I want to find out her intentions without letting her know that I'm tricking her. Okay. So I want to establish a rapport with her to ga- gather information. It's, it's a reverse um, interrogation. Got it. Eight. Ten, technically. Okay. Since I spent the thing. Let's see, the, the rank on this should be a... Yeah, you're above legendary, so... Um, Score. Yeah. What do you tell her? Or what do you ask? You're not going to believe this, but I'm from the future. And somehow, I've been brought back in time to this place. All I know is that it's important I think you may be the key to all of this. She sighs and says, No, you see, we already know that. We know that you've you've seen this before. We know why you're here. Uh, We've already been told. And um, we are quite aware that you are trying to stop Amazon. So I am not key. Except for this moment right now. But you are all going to have to come with us. In one way or another. Alright, I'm impressed. Totally tucking up my rear here. Right. Um, clearly, you are who you claim to be. You will excuse me for um, the little deception. You can understand why it might be necessary for my position. Of to course. make sure you are who you say you are. So if you'll, if you'll lead the way, we'll be happy to uh, join the ranks and uh, do what you need us to do. Certainly. If you will all just walk this way, please, we will take you, uh, we will take you to Amazon. Come on, guys. She motions towards the stairwell. It's time to go to Amazon. <laughs> is Tim still in the other room with the presentation? What, ha- what is happening over there? Um, they're all still in that room, yeah. And they're not surprised by all of this? They're, they're not sure what to make of it right now. <laughs> it's one of those things of like armed guards just came in, but there are strangers in the hallway as well, so I guess it's okay. Do the guards all have their guns drawn and pointed? Yes, yes they do. Okay. Are they going to take them back to the van? It looks like it. The driver's already in the driver's seat. Yeah. All right. We'll come with you for now. You know, you don't need those. Oh, no, we, 
I'm fairly certain we do. No, she does. Is she there? knows. She knows me. You guys have history, then? I have a history with these... with her organization. I'm actually going to compel... Okay. ...your Omega Aspect. All right. Because, one, that guy is back there. Mm-hmm. And two, these are the people that you are trying to prevent. Oh, these people in particular? Yes. Okay. Yes. They shouldn't be here right now at all, but... Because they don't show up until later, like... That's why I was going with them to see if I could figure out why they're here. Right, but you know you're supposed to stop that guy in that hallway. Or in that office room. Oh, I can always return and blow this building up. It's not a problem. (laughs) Well, either way, you'll need to... If you want to prevent that and go with them, you'll need to pay a fate point to block mine. I would like to phase back in. Okay. (laughs) I would like to use my other skill. Are you still gonna... Huh? Are you gonna block this or are you gonna take it? Uh... You think I should just take it? Wait for me. I'm gonna get killed, probably. It seems pretty much... One of the guards reaches to the fire uh, the fire alarm. I got it. So you probably want to block this. Actually, no, he doesn't. No, I don't want to block it, right? Take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Take it. So you are going to need to do a thing. Right. Which, this will move us into a challenge situation. Okay. So set your goals. Okay, my goals. So I guess, um, because I'm right next to these soldiers... Um, and they're trying to take us on. He's already established a rapport with this woman successfully, so it seems like we're going with them. Then I'm going to try to grab one of their guns and go straight for straight for Tim. So on the challenge, the question that I have for you is, what are your goals for this challenge? Oh, uh, my goals are to stop Tim. All right. I'm trying, I'm trying to um, stop this deal from going down. Tim is the one that is presenting this program. All right. so, so, I'm, so I'm assuming that if I take him out, it should be, that should be it. So the things that you need to you need to have done on this. Okay. There are guards between you and that and that thing. They came in from all sides, so there are guards between you and that office. You have to get past them. That's okay. so that's one of the right. I've got to get past them. them. Yeah. The other one is, um, you're trying to stop Tim. Are you trying to stop Tim? Or are you trying to stop the meeting? Um, I guess it's more like I'm trying to stop the meeting. Okay. Then we'll just stop the meeting as one. Okay. The very first thing. Guard at the back, farthest from you, mm-hmm. from, uh, closest to where the meeting is, pulls the fire alarm. You're going to create an advantage. Um, just go ahead and pick a skill. This deceive. No. Deceive? Do oh, it. so you were, you were the NPC, essentially. Yes. Yes. Nice, nice. You were these guys. Five. Fire alarm goes off. There is a free boost to the first one of you who's going to take an action. So the way that this, this breaks down is you're going to pick the next person to go. Um, I, I, want, I have a question first, though. Um... What other equipment other than the, the handguns do the guards have? There's a couple of tools on their belt. They're mostly within black boxes. You can't really see them. They are not like decked out like Rambo or anything. No so smoke grenades. Doesn't seem. To yeah, there's there's no like grenade or anything like that on there. If there are, they look entirely different from how you'd be used to seeing. Them. Not me. I would. I know these things. Uh, I'm gonna say that uh, John. Uh, John go first. Now to be clear, there's the woman and there's the group of guards. So, but I'm trying to get past this group, so I'm I'm going to use athletics to get past them. I would assume, right? right? Just kind of like trying to like leap, up, leap, like jump up on the wall, do one of those like uh, uh, Matrix Prince style, of Persia, yeah, yeah, Prince of Persia, whatever. Jump up on a wall, kick off, and go straight past them. You also have uh, a free boost if you want to call on it from his fire alarm. Eight. You are actually able to um, do the whole leap, leap across the wall. You can create Crazy. an advantage or a boost with this as well if you want. I pass him my gun. I gotta stop this meeting any way, any way possible. Got it. The future will not stand. Pick the next person to go. Okay, and he's already gone because he passed me the gun. Doc is hiding. What are you doing, Chris? I'm trying to take out one of the guards. Okay, you 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 can go next. You're gonna go okay. Next. Um, so I'm actually gonna take advantage of the fire alarm boost. Um, so I'm gonna need it. If they jump at all because of the fire alarm, I hear fire alarms so often in my line of work um, that it just doesn't even phase me, and that's why I'm able to take initiative here. Um, so what oh, I'm going to do sorry. is go and spend one of my fate points to use my uh, Delphius device. Um, basically, I knew that this was about to happen, and therefore I was able to spring into action better. So that's going to be a plus three. Okay. And you were you're trying to bring one of the guys down? Yes. All right. You have tangled him up, mm. but it's got you tangled up. Fair enough. So, like, you have not brought him down, <laughs> but he can't do anything as long as you are actively gotcha. restraining him. So what's the plan? <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Uh, so yeah, I, I pop behind a giant planter, and I'm hiding. Just straight up hiding? Yeah. My value is six. Okay, I'm going to set that as basically an advantage for you. Mm-hmm. Um, 
giving you benefits to anyone trying to find you. Like, if they try to find you, they're going to have a hard time with it. Right. Uh, and you need to pick the next person to go and realize there are still two groups of uh, guards here left. She goes. She's creating an advantage using tactics. Provided that I actually manage to achieve this, what it's going to do is it's going to give a boost to her guards to bring you down. Go ahead. So there's no way for me to counteract this? Uh, technically, you could defend with your tactics. Yeah, I don't yes. have an obstacle. I'm opposing your tactics. It's mine versus yours. All right. Let's do it. Let's oppose. Got it. So let's see. Hold on. He's even out. Gotta make an alternate ending. So, so that would be four, five, six. Six? How'd you get it? How'd you do it? Seven. Uh, spin I, another, spin another. Am I able to spin another? If you have something else that'll fit, yeah. Fire alarm. No, he spent it. No, but I haven't spent the boost from the bonus from last time. There's a second boost. And if I spin that, then right. I'd be one, one higher than you. Correct. So I do that. At which point, she's actually going to spend one to invoke too many soldiers, not enough time. They have no chance at bringing you in. Mm -hmm. You are now going to be gunned down. It's fine. I also invoke... Soldier lost in time for two more, so now I'm a buffer again by one. All right, you managed to block her ability to create to generate an advantage. Okay. Instead, I pick then the guards to go next. Okay. Immediately. I have an idea for what, what, one more aspect uh, for my action average mode aspect. Um, I have a specialized fighting style called deja vu. <laughs> <laughs> I hit you so hard you don't even remember it. Alright, so your aspect is deja vu? Deja vu. Do it. Write it down. Alright, they, um, they immediately open fire. Of course, they're gunning at you because you're the one moving. Ooh. Ouch. The guards turn and they fire at you. Okay. Bursts of electrical energy. Oh. Splash against the glass on, on the hall, splash against the walls, leaving a few scorch marks. Several of them just whiz by you, and a couple hit you on the shoulder. Your arm locks up for a split second, and then re relaxes again. It's a total of three stress. Okay. That you can mitigate, however, it's three physical stress. Right, okay. I'll go ahead and take the third. Cool. Is it back to our turns? Yep, top of the round. So they're non lethal? Actually, you would know what these guns are like. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Well, they look the same. It depends on what you put inside them. Yeah, so they can, never go, th yeah, they can never go through the... They, they, of course, can't go through the, the window then. You know what? Right. What would be a good way to stop the meeting? Bust in and taste everyone. Bust in and taste the prototype. Because it would fry it completely, right? Yeah, it, it would, was fry, the, it would yeah. fry the computer. Yeah, I'm a, that's what that's what I aim for. Then I bust, all his floppy disks. I bust. I bust. <laughs> through, all right. Just got a briefcase. All right, so here we go. So I go ahead. I bust through the door. I like you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick it in and aim for the computer or whatever whatever presentation system he has. There's I'm a trying, projector in like a smaller. 80s style computer? Yeah, yeah. There should be a computer where he has his information, so I'm gonna completely fry it. Okay, that would be zero, but I have five in that. I'm gonna go ahead and, again, my Omega talent, I must make an alternate ending. So that would be seven. You race down the hallway, firing, does nothing. Those first couple of shots, the people behind the glass are not expecting that, and they dive out of the way. Okay. So when you hit the door, you basically just kick it open and just unload into the room. Um, anything in there that you see, just hit. There's scorch marks roughly everywhere. I need you three to make a temporal resilience roll. Okay. I'm gonna spend one on, you don't understand, time moves differently for me, to make it a seven. So I'm gonna spend one to um, give it a plus two, so this canceled out, so I have a six. Time is my bitch. Did you roll three minuses, Doc? I did. Oh, wow. So I'm gonna re-roll it. Yeah, you gotta find a way to re-roll I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, it, it's Ouch. only a minus two now. Um, yeah, yeah. That is harsh. Which, it is a two, so I am at oh, a wow. flat zero. <laughs> so I hide behind my planter <laughs> in the hallway. There's just a conspicuous planter there in the middle of the hallway. As there. these bullet, these electro bullets go off all around me and I taste copper in my mouth or whatever. Bernard's past shits. He sees a couple of flashes, but the things he's trying to remember keep phasing out. He can't hold on to them. Ah! He remembers, at first, covering a few things that happened during the Cold War, the later Cold War, uh, that went into the late 90s. Then he remembers it ending in 91. Then he remembers it ending in 98. 
95, shifting around as it normalizes. And at one point, he recalls following up on something else that was happening. Oh, my head, no! He's following a spy through New York for the Russians in the late, in the late 90s. And he got shot with something. I remember that. Except then he didn't, and then he did, and then he didn't. And the memories don't make sense. All that you know is it is much harder to focus. And it has been that way since that happened. Though you remember it not being that way earlier today. So for the moment, your concept is eternal headache. Ah! It's a time consequence. Temporal consequence. The two of you remember that there is a difference. You're not done here yet. Because the plan is still there. You've stopped this meeting, but there's a group closing in around you. There will be another meeting. Well, didn't uh, Tim get tased up? He did, but that doesn't kill him. Not yet. Stop his heart. <laughs> we have to now. I mean, that's... There must be an ultimate ending. I want to make the guards think they have shot each other. Oh. And are continuing to shoot each other. Oh, nice. Through my uh, hallucinations. So this is the combat skill. Make illusory attacks feel real via mental harm. I am actually going to compel your, your new time consequence. Okay. Um, so that you're rolling at a negative two. Oh, okay. Five. And then minus two, so three. They are all wildly flinging their guns around, and a few of them are shouting out. Uh, you can hear the woman in the background saying, Get a hold of yourselves. Pay attention. Oh, so they're not paying attention to me. Not at, not at present. Uh, I should also note that there is there is an additional third group now, and it's the group that's in the room with him, the the businessmen, etc. So they will need to go at some point. Sure. Who goes next? Brian goes next. I'm going to drop into a deja vu stance and work my way through the hallucinating guards to get to the woman who who is apparently in charge. Primary objective is to disable her or incapacitate her. Secondary is getting any, like, storage devices or cell phones or any other thing, like a PDA. I'm going to spend a fate point on Pandemonium in the hallways, because I'm going to weave my way through the hallucinating and Got it. freaking out guards. But since I'm using my fighting style, I'm going to use my combat skill. Alright. Yeah, you succeed. Just barely. So you weave your way back through the guards. They're all firing blindly. You can see she's, um, she's shouting orders, trying to get their attention, trying to get all of her guards back on task. Uh, she doesn't notice you come up behind her. There is on her belt what looks like an ID card just peeking out of uh, one of those smaller packs nice. on her belt. Um, you reach forward to grab it. As you do, she notices you and whips around. So your hand comes back with that full, like it seems to clip on. Mm -hmm. You pull the whole package off away from her with you. Mm -hmm. But her attention is now shifted directly to you. In response, seeing that you have this package, seeing her guards, she shouts down the hallway, Burn him, let's get out of here. Mm. That sounds promising. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, uh, th I don't think she means one of us. I think in she... your room, mm -hmm. you see three of the suited guys turn to James Whirl on the ground and pull out guns. Mm -hmm. These look like guns from this era. They all, all turn, turn on Whirl. They all turn on Whirl, pull out their Okay, guns. so they're not even... Yeah. They're not even like, so I destroyed the, the computers, and they're more concerned with taking Whirl out? Yes. Okay, that's all weird. Right. All right, then. I would try to save Whirl so we can pump him for information. They're going to kill him. Oh, you're right. They yeah. probably will. Huh, and there's three of them? Yeah. There's three of them, yeah. Oh, but I could just do, like, a, maybe a barrage to get him to duck behind something, I guess. So first, save Whirl. Yeah. Second, get him out of the uh, building. So, challenge is beginning. What do you guys choose to do? Because you can all take actions right now. Okay, like I said, I want my action to be... I'm going to sort of, like, spray fire at them with the future taser gun, with the goal being to, you know, if I can tase them, that's great, but it's really to get them to, like, back off. Cover fire, got it. Yeah, covering fire, and while I go over to... Because I'm relatively close to Warl, so I'm going to try to go over and try to... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to reach out to it, and I'm going to say, Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> all right. All right, go ahead and make a combat action. You open fire, you hit one of them immediately. Okay. And he just locks up. The other two realize they're getting shot at. One of them grabs that guy and pulls him in front of him and starts, like, trying to fire at you. And you're moving out of the way 
diving behind a desk, that kind of a thing. The other one has moved to the other side of the, this very small room and is kind of ducking behind the other two uh, office workers who are in there. Meet you. Have, have I dragged? But I have, and I have Worrell yeah. sort of with me. Like he's... You've grabbed him. You're dragging okay. him across the floor to get behind cover. Okay. Towards the exit, hopefully. Yeah. I would like to flip open the first pouch on my belt and see what's in there. The very first one? Yeah. A couple of small blocks that look like ammo packs kind of a thing. Okay, next one. Um, the very next one has an ID card and um, a wallet. Third one on the left. Uh, inside you find what looks like a very small capsule, uh, kind of made of metal, with two halves that can be turned, and... Uh, Sounds like a grenade. Just a, a couple of similar capsules like it. Do they have, like, colored rings, or are they just pure metal? Or They're just pure metal. Okay. It's more of the same. Most of it is just some extra equipment. It's just the, the small metal pellets are the things that I'm interested in. You guys, by the way, still have... Uh, there's still a couple aspects of your challenges that you need to go through to get the, to get him and the other guy out. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone can actually try to help those, either by creating advantages for them or by um, taking direct overcome actions to overcome these challenges. So I'm going to try to create an advantage. Um, I'm tangled up with my guy right now, but I'm going to try to do is since he's hallucinating mm-hmm. and distracted, I'm going to try to take his uh, stun gun and basically help to lay down covering fire for them. Okay. You also notice that there's a set of keys on your... Like car keys or door keys? Like car keys. Okay. You're looking for a four, by the way. Gotcha. I'm going to use my Delphius device. So basically, I'm I'm looking at the device, and it's telling me that they're about to come out this door, so I know I need to try to help them by pulling out my gun. So, or pulling this guy's gun. And that makes it a three, which is not enough. I thought he was hallucinating. I thought he wasn't resisting directly. So the way the hallucinations work... Um, they're there, but they're not necessarily constant. So he thinks he's been hit, that he's been shot, and now this guy's going for his gun. Oh, that's bad. Actually, Doc has not gone yet. Wait, could he have assisted Chris so that he would succeed? Well, there you go. Do you want to try to? Yeah, happy to. Chris Chris was close to succeed. What was your your base role you were using? Uh, combat. Combat? Do you have a combat skill? Um, not really. I do. If you chose to, to help him create this advantage, the higher the two bo- combat skills would be used, plus one from the helper. Yeah, I'll, I'll choose to help him. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are creating an advantage. I basically, like, see him struggling with the guard and, like, move over to pin him down so he can grab yeah, the gun or, like, kick the gun away from him to, okay. to his hands. All right, so that's going to create a hole in their defenses. It has two free invokes and then it's gone. They are still firing at you. Um, you have to get out of there. Like I'm getting pinned down, essentially, is what you're saying. I want to throw a pellet okay. into his room... On the side where the three guys are taking cover. I want to see if I can get in there. All right. So could I could I try to get out? I'm a little worried about him throwing a giant yeah, like, crazy I'm, grenade in there. Yeah, so like I'm going to yell, fire in the hall! Yeah, just, are you just trying to get out of the room? Are you trying to just haul him I'm out of the room? I'm trying to just haul him out of the room. Okay, athletics. Athletics? Yeah. All right, I'll do that. I, I'm trying to haul him out of the room and trying to get out, I guess you could say, like quickly and avoiding as much fire as possible. So right. maybe like using... using whatever is in the room as potential cover as I try to get out. Like, right. kind of like... You, you know, knock over the slide eat, projector. That kind of thing, yeah. Like, try to basically use things that, that I can for cover as I go out. How many of you have an athletic skill? Uh, and who has the highest athletic skill? I have a one. I have a plus three. Mine, no. Mine's a plus five, naturally. Athletics, okay. so... All of you who are not in the room, you need to make your athletics check. You can make it together if you want to work together to get out. Um, you're going to need to make an athletics check, and your obstacle right now is going to be an 8 because you're hauling this guy out. Then I'm going to stealth my way to the stairs. Okay. So, the two of you immediately turn and book for the stairs. As you turn around to head out, you hear this loud sound, this loud ringing noise come off from behind where you were. Your pellet Mm -hmm. flies into that room as you're standing up. Bright lightning. Crashing sound. Almost knocks you to the ground. But you've seen this before. You're used to this kind of thing, so you just move through it. Okay. <laughs> Poor Whirl. <laughs> Whirl is pretty much out. Just falls, so you are carrying a dead weight with you out of the room. That's fine, I got the physique for it. <laughs> Bullets are going off behind you, but they seem to be firing blindly. You feel an impact against you, like you've gotten hit, and hear the sound of it, but you don't feel anything. So you are racing towards the stairs. Pulling this thing, everyone seems to be unfocused. You seem to have gotten away scot-free. You hit the stairs and start going down. As you are leaving the room, 
You hear all these noises. You see the woman, or you don't see the woman. You hear the woman shouting something. You hear the squelch of a radio. What's she shouting? She shouts, we burned him. We need another linchpin sent immediately. Get that process rolling. Contact Andy's. Uh-oh. And then you are in the stairwell with them heading down. I'm already in the car because I'm a transport pilot who is always early or late. When you hit the bottom of the stairwell, you see in front of you, um, with their backs turned, a couple of guys in much heavier, more period style armor. So I, yeah. Is there still a fire, there's still a fire alarm going, right? Isn't there? Yeah. I do have the ID card. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to deceive them. I'm going to, to flash the idea. It's like, make way, make way. I need to get these executives through. They need to be evacuated immediately. You caught up with them when they hit the bottom of the, when they hit the bottom floor of the stairs where you're supposed to be. It's stairs were empty. Yeah. But I mean, he encounters these first because he got there first. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not yet in there. No, you're That's not with them. No. no. I'm going to spend one. Oh, let's see. I still have one aspect to define. My good mode is banter. So I think for my good mode aspect, it should be talks a good game in any period. Sounds good. I'm going to spend one on that to make it a five. Excellent. Um, you run to them, basically just tap him on the shoulder. He whirls around, like gun at the ready, and you're just holding your badge up in front of him. It's like, I need to get these executives out of the building right now. Make way. He looks at you, looks at your badge, kind of like tries for his radio and then nods. And says, All right. And we're the two clear out. Gone to the van. About the time that you've done that, they've hit the bottom of the stairs. You're dragging, you're still dragging, you've got Horrell like thrown up over your shoulder. Mm-hmm. You guys are back in that loading dock kind of area, and as you hit the floor, you see them come out of the, uh, out of the side the stairs, stairs as well. Yeah. And I'm at the van with door open, like waving you to get in now. Okay. There's I'm... a couple of armored guards standing on either side, but keeping the doorway open. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm heading straight in the van. I'm trying to get him in the van. Okay. Or are you two guys here? Trying to be inconspicuous? And making my way towards, is, I guess, the van. Well, he has opened the way. and So, mechanically, that was the last overcome action you guys needed. He succeeded it. Then I beeline right for it as if um, I know what I'm doing. In almost a solid group, you guys just run straight through the guards. I'm holding my head, though, because I've still got that massive headache. Mm -hmm. As you pile into the van, you hear one of the guards shout, "Does, does Does he need medical help? Should we... I think we got a good body. Check Whirl. Okay, so I guess I'm back there with Whirl, and, um... Is he breathing? I actually don't have any medical-related thing. I guess... He's breathing, and, uh, there, there is a bullet wound in him, uh, like, through his, through his shoulder. Is he awake? Is, is, yeah, is he conscious? Uh, he's roughly conscious, yes. Looks like delirium. Whirl, tell me what we need to know. Before you pass, do something good for this world. If you... If you, um, you set up multiple computers, it's multiple, um, mul- the network protocol, if you connect them all together, then only taking one out means that the others are fine, you can transfer data much, much more reliably, um... Or get a handle on yourself, man. And I slap him across the face. No, no, he's making sense, and I'm actually, like, starting to take notes. Bernard, you heard a word that I think world would understand. What is a linchpin? Does that sound important? So, I guess I ask him about uh, the linchpin. Isn't that just like a, a core... It, it needs to be in place to um, hold something together, right? With a um, computer... I'm a computer scientist guy. Upstairs. That think? group. What did they call themselves? Amazon? Amazon? They were talking about sending a new linchpin. It has to be important. <coughs> Answer him now. Or fix the wrath of John Tyler. I don't Calm down, know. John. I don't know what they were talking about. Who are you guys? My name is Bernard. I, I'm a reporter. But uh, this has been a very unusual day. As far as I can tell, not only have we traveled through time, but we've also shifted realities. Wait, traveled, th- traveled through... And then he looks at you. You guys... You, you're all from before. You guys are from, what, five... Six years ago, something like that? Well, several different times, yes. Oh, now he gets it. How did you get here? Somehow we can remember all the realities. And I gotta tell you, it's it's tearing my head up. It's like a storm. 
You were all you were all too close to the to the device. Um, too to close. We were holding it. Right. It's a blowback. Something I I don't really know. It's not my it's not my device. I just find it. Listen, if we when you, how, we experienced a shift before we even touched the thing. How does that no, how does too, that happen? You were too close to it. <coughs> how do you find the device? We've lost it. it we're here. It stayed Trapped behind. In time. I I don't know. I just. I found it one day. Can you do it again? It was mailed to me. That's all I know. Mm. Mailed? Yeah. Was, what year? Oh, what was that? 20, 2012, 2014. Just a couple of years before... Just a few years before you guys tried to stop me. What was the return address? <coughs> I don't... Where is the device now? I'm trying to stop you from doing what? Fixing things. What went wrong? The... The asteroid impact. What year? It killed people. It was the moon mission. 2017. A few weeks before you guys tried to stop me. Wow. Do the it. moon colony. So this device, it, it stays behind. Does that mean that we can only go to times after it was created? I don't know. Who would know? Whoever made it? Maybe, maybe those people. I have never seen uniforms like that before. Well, and those those investors. <coughs> investors don't carry guns. So where do we go now, guys? Well, you'd be surprised, actually. While while they're having the conversation in the back of the van, I one handed flip open the the case I took off the the woman and see what's inside. Okay. The ID card very clearly has a uh, there's a company name on it. Is it Amazon or is it a front? It's probably a front. Mm. It says. Um, Amalgamated River Company, Incorporated, LLC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. TMR. Copyright. Have There's year. also what looks like a beeper. It's just classic 80s era beeper. Uh, you're a scientist, right? Yeah. I also technically have science too, it's just my lowest skill. There is a lot of blood. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, in his shoulder. I was kind of assuming as I talked to him that I put my hand on it to try to stop the bleeding. There is a I major help that artery in the shoulder. He's going to die. I did tell him at the start that you yeah. know he needs to talk while he's taking a chance, <laughs> which is why he's coughing. We're running out of time. How do we stop the meteor attack? Stop well, the meteor. <laughs> we're trying to change time. How do we do it? I just. I will to... create an alternate ending. Why did you come back? The, the, the network infrastructure. They should have known it was coming. They could have gotten everyone out. Network infrastructure. Right, um, internet. Uh, if we had the data processing capability, the infrastructure of computers that was being developed, I was working on it then. If we had that, they would have seen the meteors, they would have gotten everyone out before it impacted. Hey, who do you work for? <coughs> yeah, who do you work for? Right now, IBM. So, so there's like a balance here. Either we invent the internet early enough to stop the meteorite <coughs> impact... But then Amazon takes over the future future. Or we delay the internet long enough to prevent Amazon from happening. And we sacrifice the moon colony. From your memories, Mm -hmm. there is no moon colony in the future. Develop the internet removes it entirely. Mm -hmm. We have to present Amazon from taking (coughs) over. The moon people are an acceptable sacrifice. (laughs) Amazon, what what is... Human lives are not an acceptable sacrifice, John. There, there's human lives. You've either lost way. perspective, John. But what do you think happens in war? Lives are lost. Families are destroyed. Worlds are torn apart. There's a better way. What is the better way? Well, we have time. We have the luxury of. We don't time. have time unless we get the device. Then we need to get the device. All right, for now. We need to find the device. That will open up all the opportunities that we need to make an alternate ending. Well, guess what? Investigation is what I do. Oral coughs. <laughs> Just, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Um, my apartment. I have uh, some notes. Just <coughs> promise me, save her, <coughs> my daughter. Oh, great. Armstrong, the astronaut, and uh, he coughs a couple more times, and you can tell whoever's like near him if you're touching him. Yeah, yeah, I am. Grown really, I'm down with him the whole. Time. Really, really cold. <coughs> James. Um, James, are you still there? James! I shake him. He's just breathing, that's it. We've lost him. As a scientist, you recognize that his brain is beginning to suffocate. Mm. Like, 
the autonomic functions are working, that's it. Those are going to go in a few seconds. We need to find a, a safe Remove place to drop your off. temporal consequence. Oh, sweet. Your memory goes back to the way it was before. Which tells me what? It tells you that the stuff that he did is no longer done. Because he died. You mean he was going to do. Yeah. Had already been doing. So wait, did I create an alternate ending then? Is that it? So like far, Amazon yeah. is okay. However, the ramifications of what he did have, haven't been <laughs> so felt yet. Yeah. yeah. Um, all of your devices kind of change. As an illustrative example, rather than having a Nexus Seven, you're all using roughly an iPhone One. What about my cool ta- future Taser gun? What does that change too? No, it does not. Okay. At least I got that. I think we have at least two of those. Which ones. you know that means that future still happens. So it does still happen. So Amazon still exists. Something my, else has okay. changed. My gun is still here. Something's changed, but I still have the arsenal from Amazon. We haven't changed the future. Where are you guys going? So is our only lead then the our, our main lead is the apartment. Right? You have the apartment, and then you have the the company name on his badge. Oh, it has company headquarters. Yeah, for Amazon. For, for, for Amalgamated Rivers LLC. Yeah, that's where we need to go. We'll, we need to go to Amalgamated Rivers we, LLC. That's well, going to draw too much attention. Before we, we get that, part, I think first. we should head to the part of the the apartment he gave us, the address he gave us, because my memory has just changed, mm-hmm. and what he was just telling us about hasn't happened. It never happened. So we need to go to his apartment and see if there's anything useful there or not before we make any other moves. Check him for keys. Uh, yeah, uh, I I go ahead and I check him to see if I if there's any keys for his apartment. You find keys in a wallet. Your beeper goes off. Oh god, what do I do? What is the beeper? I grab it from you and I okay. check the Just by instinct, you're not even looking. You just <laughs> you're so <laughs> text scrolls across it. The signal received. Tertiary plan. Right protocols activated. Right, as in right. Right protocol. protocols. Like the third right. Like the third right. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you they're bad people. Next week on River of Time. You see names marked with the name James Wall written next to it. Amazon is using him to make time work for them. We need to get information about this company. Hutton, was it? Agent Alpha. Let's creep around and look for a possible break in the defenses. Do we need to blow up the building? See what happens when worlds collide. You and your band seem to have taken it upon yourselves to adjust things. <gasps> Wait, what? This has been Roll With It, a production of BackwardCompatible.com. The Game Master for River of Time is Will Parsons, running Atomic Robo the RPG by Evil Hat Productions. Ed Cameron is played by Chris Krueger. Victor Goddard is played by Brian McKittrick. Bernard Hutton is played by Adam Doc Bracken. And John Titer is played by Jim Weaver. Your producer is Chris Krueger. For the Backward Compatible crew, thank you for listening.